Alright guys, have you ever wondered how these uh, lawnmower engines make electricity to charge the battery or, or ignite the coils or spark plug? Well, let me explain. Um, I just made a video showing how to remove the flywheel and I thought this would be a great opportunity to show you um, the stator right here and that's what makes the, the electricity that goes over to a voltage regulator or rectifier and then that is sent to the battery to charge up the battery. All right, and the way it's doing that is a process called electromagnetic induction. And basically there's a bunch of magnets. Anytime you, what electromagnetic induction is, is basically when you have uh, copper wire wound up in a coil and a magnet moves by it, it, it the, the copper coil wire has loosely held electrons and so you're moving those electrons basically by spinning magnets around it or a coil spinning around a magnet um, will happen. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you, these are magnets right here. And basically as the crankshaft spins, all these magnets spin around all close to all these uh, coils and that's what produces the electricity. So just real quick, I thought it would be a fun thing to show you guys. I'm gonna put this back on what I'm going to do, I'm going to spin this with my drill and I'm going to hook up my um, multimeter and I'm going to show you guys how we can produce electricity. Okay guys, so I'm going to turn my um, meter on and it's going to make alternating current. So I'm going to put it over on AC. I'm going to put this, this is come, the harness coming right off of the stator. All right, so now I'm gonna spin it with my drill. I've taken the spark plug out on this side. So it'll spin pretty easily without creating compression. See how we're creating some current there. Now the way it works with the coils is very similar. So let me hook that up right now. So I've installed one coil and you'll see there I have a business card between the coil and that magnet that is mounted on the outside edge of that flywheel. And I'm installing an, a coil tester and I was just wanting to install the spark plug just to see if you guys could pick up the spark. And it has to be ground against the, uh, the block of the motor for the spark plug to work. And unfortunately, I didn't realize that the plug wire was blocking the view of the uh, coil tester. But you can kind of see right there when I spin this, you'll be able to see some orange light right here. Because basically we have a ma another magnet on the flywheel up here and the, the uh, copper coils, that's why it's called an ignition coil, is inside of here. So guys, I hope that uh, explains how the engines are making electricity uh, to charge the battery, run the, run the mower, and basically uh, run the ignition system. Do me a favor, hit that like button. Also hit that subscribe button. And I want to thank all my new subscribers and I especially want to thank all my channel members. My newest member, Dogefall, I want to especially thank you for uh, recently joining, as well as Derek Dorsey, James Reardon, Sean Locke, and Chavez Construction, LLC. Thank you guys for being channel members. And if you haven't already, maybe go look at the memberships, get special perks, uh, special videos, things like that. I respond to your questions and actually just did some work for one of my members. So anyway, do me a favor. On the way out, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.